Hey, what's up guys, it's Patrick, and welcome to this guide. The items you need for this quest are armor, weapon, and food. You can use any combat style you want, however, this is a mid-level free-to-play quest, so I recommend you have level 40 plus combat stats as well as level 40 plus armor and anything better than trout for food. To start, go to the building southwest of the Taverly Bank where it says you're here. When you get here, talk to Gudrick and select the option that says ask about a shadow over Ashdale. You'll soon get a prompt to accept the quest, go ahead and do that, then finish the conversation. Head west to the docks and towards the boat, cross the gangplank when you see it. When you get to Ashdale, go north until you see a yellow dot on your mini-map. Head towards the yellow dot and talk to Lucy. Select the chat options I have written for you on screen. When you're done talking to her, head out through the back, go down the stairs, and enter a storm drain. Head north to the blue area on your minimap. You'll get a cutscene which you can skip and a monster will spawn, you don't have to fight it, just keep going west. If you go a little bit north, go to the next blue area you see on your minimap. There is another monster here, but don't worry about him, just climb up the ladder. You have to do it fast though, because you have to kill him if you don't. Head southwest until you encounter a gate and two other monsters. You can ignore these as well, just open the gate and keep going until you get into the building. Search the table to get a journal entry, read that really quick, then inspect the bust to discover the hidden stairs. Go down the stairs. Head west until you reach a room with barrels of water. You should see three red dots on your minimap, pick up all three items. Use the inner wheel with the outer wheel to put them together. Turn the valve wheel on a barrel with the water in it. The water will be transferred into the next barrel and you just keep doing this until a door opens. However, for the third one you have to repair the wheel first. And before you turn the last valve, you have to repair the pipe. Go 
go into the next room where you'll find three more of these monsters. You actually have to fight these to get into the room after this. If you're low level, I would suggest not running into the middle because these things can actually hit kind of hard. So it's best if you try to fight them one at a time rather than having them pile on you. It's not a big deal if you die though because you don't lose anything and you respawn right here. Head into the next room but don't go in too far. After the cutscene's over, don't move yet. You can't attack this new monster because if it catches you, it'll kill you automatically. But like I said earlier, you respawn right here if you die. When he starts walking away from you, pull the lever in the southwest, which will automatically kill him. Follow the path, but once again, don't go on too far for the same reason. Wait until the monster walks past you and pull the lever to northwest, which will automatically kill him. This next one is a little bit tricky because the lever is actually in the room after this one, so you have to avoid two of these to get to the lever. It's not hard though, just make sure they don't see you and the trick is to go into the next room as soon as they walk past you. Go into the next room and head north. So the lever is all the way to northwest, and this one is even trickier because you have to avoid four of them, but it's not much different from the last one. Head west into the next room and keep going west to get onto the boat. Four tentacles will spawn around you when you get on the boat. They don't have a lot of HP, but you only can deal 40 damage at a time. They also hit hard, but avoiding their hits is easy. You have to use abilities like freedom and anticipation to prevent yourself from being stunned, and you just simply run back and forth between them like what I'm doing in the video. Basically just don't stay in one spot for too long. You'll get a cutscene, and now you have to fight this thing. This fight is not necessarily hard, but he does a bunch of crazy stuff. For one thing, he can hit hard like everything else in this quest, so make sure to watch your HP. He does a bunch of crazy attacks, but you only can avoid one of them. You'll know when it's coming because a shadow-like thing will appear under you. Just simply move to a spot where there isn't a shadow and you can avoid the damage. After the fight is over, talk to Lucy, and when you get the set chat option, select the yes and she'll bring you back to Taverly. In Taverly, talk to Gudrick and select the option that says is there a reward. And that'll be the end of the quest. So anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you guys later. Peace.